I'm back in Wilmington today at the end of a long and arduous legislative week. We start working up in the General Assembly at about 7.30 most mornings, and then I get out of there around 6 or 7 at night, uh, all for a grand paycheck of about $13,900. And I asked for this job, spent a lot of time and energy to get it and to keep it, and I appreciate that. And the, the pay is not anything that we go up to Raleigh for, but a lot of people think that we get paid a lot more than that. It's $13,900 a year, and we're worth every penny of it, as I tell people. But what I want to share with you is how important I think the work that we're doing up in Raleigh is. Uh, there is so much to do in setting our state on the right path. You know, for years, we have been mismanaged, I think, by people who were up in Raleigh to benefit themselves rather than to take care of you in the state's business. And that is shown by the shambles that Raleigh was in when we got up there in 2011 with a $2.5 billion structural deficit, with billions owed to the federal government in unemployment insurance, with a state health care plan that was broken and getting more broke. We got up there and started shoring all of these things up, fixed the state health care plan right away. We fixed the structural deficit problems that we had as far as the debt went. We reduced taxes, and now we've learned that that one penny sales tax reduction, which put about a billion dollars back in your pocket, has resulted in at least 179,000 new jobs that have been created. That's pretty amazing. It goes to show you that the North Carolina economy and the North Carolina people are resilient. And if government will simply get out of the way and empower the free market to fix things, it can do it. But as we continue to move forward, we're going to be getting into tax reform here very soon. That will be interesting. That is literally trying to get rid of North Carolina's corporate and personal income taxes and actually institute a service tax along with the current sales tax in order to garner enough money to run the state. We're going to further reduce all of the wasteful programs and make sure that your money is spent well and spent wisely. It is not easy doing these heavy lifts and trying to fix the state and setting it on the right path. This bad economy that we've had, this great recession that we've entered into many years ago, has forced a lot of these changes. I will tell you, that prior to the Republicans taking over in 2011, what basically happened in North Carolina is in the good years, that is when the economy was doing well, the state spent all the money that it brought into the coffers. It then borrowed all the money it could and then just hoped everything would go great and continue to just increase spending, increase spending, grow state government. In bad years, when the Democrats were in charge, they literally spent everything. They borrowed all the money they could up until they got to the point that we're at now where they couldn't borrow any more money without destroying our bond rating, which would make all of our debt even more expensive. And then they literally taxed everything they could and increased taxes to the point that we were the highest taxed state in the Southeast. I mean, for instance, drive across to the South Carolina line and you can see that gas is, what, 20, 20 plus cents cheaper. You go to Virginia, you go to Tennessee, you go to Georgia, South Carolina, all these states around us, you will find states like Florida where there's no income tax. You'll find states like South Carolina where you've got significantly reduced gas taxes and personal income taxes. That's where so many of our jobs and opportunities have been going. Now, since we've started cutting the budget, since we've started cutting the crazy spending, since we've started cutting the taxes, we have stopped the hemorrhaging, but it's been just triage. Now we're getting ready to truly move into something new and exciting, and that's what tax reform is going to be all about. I'm pleased to serve up in Raleigh. This is an exciting time to be up there. It's tough leaving and being away from your family for many days, week after week after week. But 
I know that we're up there doing the right things for the right reasons. I get to serve with some real patriots, people who care, who are all sacrificing to be up there in Raleigh for you, to not get anything from it, but to get accused of everything around election time and to work hard to try to regain their seats and get back up there and accomplish the mission you set us up to do. But I'm proud to serve you. It is my honor to serve. I don't get paid very much, as I said, but I do get paid with your thanks and with knowing that we're working for the right reasons to get the right things done. And it's just my pleasure to be up there serving you, and I thank you for the opportunity to be there. God bless you. God bless the great state of North Carolina.